Hey guys, this is Asa Flo. This video is going to be how to disassemble the hop up on the Y911 pistol. So, first, I'm just going to want to take it apart. I have a video on how to do that. Check it out if you don't have to do it. So, you just going to dismantle everything. Okay, now, once you've got to this bit, as you can see, when you, you can pull it back and forth, but it won't come out. You can see if you pull this a little more, it can turn to the right. So, you need to want to take some pliers without damaging any anything. Just going to grip it there. Just pull it and then move it to the right it's hard the first time you try but after a while once you've done it it, it gets easier so this is taking a long time There we go. Pull to the right as well. So you need to like pull back and to the right like that. And then once you've got to here, you can see there are two small screws. Let me show you. There and there. What you need to want to do is remove those screws. The small screwdriver. And put the screws aside. Now, once the two screws are out, sorry, just put the camera back in place. Once the two screws are out, you're going to want to pry the with a screwdriver or just with your hands, take the hopper out. Here's one side of the shell. And then you can take this metal piece out. It looks like this. And then you have your barrel and your hop-up bucking. And then you have your hop-up wheel. And then if you want to switch barrels, just take the bucking off and put it back again on the new barrel. Now to put it back together, as you can see there's this little bit. You're going to want to align it with that hole. Like that. You can see it's in there and it's all aligned. Then, sorry. Then you can put your hop up wheel back in the neutral position. Then you can take your metal piece, put it in the hole in the wheel. I don't know if you can see in there that there's a hole. Oh, bugger, sorry. There's a hole there. Let me just try and show you. There. You're going to stick the metal piece in that hole. And then once that's in, you can put the other side of the shell. I'm holding it in place. I'll just do that. Should click into place so everything's aligned correctly. I'm just trying to do that. There we go. And everything's aligned. Right. That. Then you're going to put the two screws back. Like so. And then them back with 
There we go. Now you're going to take your outer barrel and your inner barrel and you're going to push to the right, the inner barrel to the right and then just squeeze it in. Should look like that. And then you can put your inner and outer barrel back in the frame. Put your slide lock back, put your barrel lock back. This bit. Spring. Spring guide. And then you can put the slide back. And it should work. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post a comment below or send me an email. Check out my blog. I have a lot of posts about airsoft and 1911s and all that. This is Airsoft Flow, signing out.